Whether you're a student with an iPhone or a teacher with a laptop, technology is a big part of your life. But what about using technology in the classroom? We already have tech centers, but what if we could replace all of our books with personal devices like iPads or Kindles? Hi, I'm Hannah Richardson, and I want to go talk to a few teachers and students to see how they feel about personal devices in the classroom. I teach the Advanced Placement World History for sophomores and the Accelerated World History to freshmen, and I think the school should move to personal devices. Uh, there are several advantages to that, to using them. Uh, the first advantage would be just uh, the weight of textbooks that students have to carry around. Uh, some of the smaller students end up carrying about 40 pounds worth of books to and from home. At the same time, uh, they have to continually go back and forth to their lockers. If uh, most textbook manufacturers go to personal devices, which is what it appears in, is going to happen on a national level, students can simply carry that one device and have all of their textbooks with them as well as uh, course materials, course worksheets, course syllabi, all of that can be together in one small compact package. I teach freshman science, APS, I teach general chemistry, and I teach honors chemistry, and I think in many cases there's good reason to use technology and personal devices in the classroom. I think there uh, can be additions to the teaching tools that we already have in the classroom, so I think they can be beneficial. Then if you have students who have them as well, there are activities that you can have and do in class that I think can extend educational resources for students. I use an iPad for as a personal device for school. I have a calculator app and a Nook Reader app where I got the spark notes for the book that I'm reading in Lit and studying for finals with that is really helpful. I can just take this wherever I need to go and it has pretty much everything I need on it. And I also have a periodic table on here which really helps with science and things like that. So I think if everyone had an iPad, it'd be very beneficial for the school. Along with advantages come some disadvantages. Some teachers and students voice their opinions. Possible disadvantages, um, having to constantly monitor some students, not all by any means, but there are going to be some students who will probably try and take advantage. Um, if they've got an iPad, they can be checking their email and doing other things rather than working on the project or communicating with each other, which is not really what the purpose of the personal device is for within a classroom scenario. All right, I am opposed to people using iPads in class because uh, other students can get distracted. They can distract yourself, be on Facebook, on the internet, going on apps. Some of the disadvantages I think people would tell you is that it takes their concentration off what's going on in the classroom. I think there's also a concern about missing personal relationships between teachers and students where you have that one-to-one -one contact. Um, and when you have personal devices, sometimes I think people get too much into those and we forget about that, the importance of the personal contact. The, the one concern that I would have and I think other teachers have expressed is that there's the haves and have-nots. People who can afford the technology and the personal devices will have them where other students may not be able to afford them and then they can't have them. So there has to be a way where it's equitable for everybody in the classroom. That way everybody gets the benefit uh, of whatever those technologies are. So there you have it, CB. iPads and Kindles are great for reading, but even though the games and apps like Angry Birds or Facebook can be distracting, personal devices may be the future for our education. This has been Hannah Richardson reporting for KBFT, Sacramento.